Hello there guys and gals, and welcome to yet another Bug Snacks Achievement and Trophy Guide. And this time I'll be showing you how to defeat and catch all four legendary Bug Snacks. Now of course, legendary means big, but luckily in the world of Bug Snacks of course we cannot die, so that comes in handy. But first of all we are going to be grabbing Daddy Cake Legs with his baby, baby cake legs. Yeah, makes sense. And make sure to know this, uh, but this will only be available during Snorpy's side quest lines, but after you complete Eggabelle's main quest, up high in the Frosted, Frosted Peak Mountain. So keep that one in mind if you can't get Snorpy's quest to start. Basically, you just have to complete Eggabelle's main quest and get it to start. So, when we get to the first area, then put your trip shaft on the fire, put it on the candle, and Daddy Cake Legs will appear. Now, what you have to do, basically, he's going to put up these ice pillars. Um, but, so, what you need to do then, you have to light up two candles on each side of Daddy Cake Legs. And, of course, every time you put a fire on a bit of ice, it's going to melt, so just keep that in mind. If you want to know the direction he's walking in, um, press, uh, press the right stick in and take a picture of him. And it'll obviously show you on the floor which way he's going to start going, so you, uh going to have a bit more of a tactical prowess right there. Uh, somehow managed to miss that one. But that's all we're doing for this particular... This is three phases for Daddy Cake Legs. Um, again, don't worry if one of the ice beams melt. That's fine. You can just do that again. He'll smash that up. So that is the first one done. Now, another big tip. If you're having any problems... And, of course, make sure to grab a little Baby Cake Legs right now. Now, if you are having any problems with catching the old Cake Legs or having trouble setting him on fire, his candles, what you can do is actually just set fire to yourself and then run, run straight up to Daddy Cake Legs and that will work as well. So if you want to save a little bit of time messing around, there we go. <laughs> we can just uh, set ourselves on fire and go nuts, which, I mean, that would come in handy in real life, wouldn't it, if we were able to set ourselves on fire like a barbecue. Anyway, this is the second area. Now, this is where Eggabelle's main quest is. This is the reason why we can't start this if we haven't done Eggabelle's main quest, because she'll be standing there. So, of course, we need her to get the hell out of the way. And then Daddy Cake Legs will appear again. So, it's just the same situation then. We need to get both the candles on each side. Um, but again, like I said, set yourself on fire and run straight up to him for an easy death day of beautifulness. And, of course, this is pretty much the only thing he'll ever do to you, is set you um, as a frozen block of ice, which, well, comes in handy, doesn't it? Well, not if you want to be frozen, unless you want to go to the year 3000, like Fry. Philip J. Fry. Anyway, that is the second phase done, nice and easy. Now, what we've got to do is go back on ourselves, and then basically keep following the straight path, or the path straight. So, past this little pond where you will see Mount Sodi. And just up here where we see the, um, ah, uh, man, what's the, the lollipop dude who is really bloody annoying? I forget his name. But anyway, this is where we're at then. So you can see the little mound with the candle on it. So again, whap out your trip shot, smash it over under the candle, and just do the same thing. So again, you can either just keep doing um, what I'm doing and putting it on the uh, ice blocks. Or again, you can just set yourself on fire, run up to him, and this will be the last one. Then you can catch the daddy cake legs. And we can just move on. Oh, in fact, there we go. We're all, <laughs> apparently, we're, all, we're already done. Legendary! Right then, so now we head to Flavor Falls, and this is obtained during my personal favourite character, Chandlow's questline. His third and final quest will, be, uh, will involve catching the next legendary Pokemon, I meant bug snacks of course, Mama Melon. A cute play in the word melon, because it's a giant melon. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Now, Mama Melon is very protective of her babies, very much in the same way a mama of Tinder or another dating site is when their profile reads, with, you know, very poor Chav-like spelling. Hey, I hate men or women, only on here because of a friend. Nothing comes between me and my 12 kids. If you don't like it, then you you and me can't be together. 2K22, alright? I, I mean, you get the point. Um, but, but anyway, once we get to you with Chandlow, that was my... Apparently, that was my um, Chavi attempt at being a proper Chav. Oh, apparently, we can go inside Mama Merwin as well. Stick some more kids in her. Why not? Yeah. Let, let's, let's not get inside Mama Merwin. She's... She's seen enough. Anyway, 
You see all these big statues of rocks kind of look like frogs and the stalactites above them? That is what we'll be doing. So, Chano's going to get his butt kicked. Little French fry as he is. What we need to do then is get your snack trap out. Go in front of one of those statues. Uh, what I'm going to do first is actually just grab one of these um, in order to grab the... 100 bug snacks achievements, there we go. So every time you catch one of them, Mama Mewen comes towards you with such ferocity that all Tinder profiles are now obsolete. And then what's going to happen is she's just going to nip back. So, as you can see, this is exactly what we need to do. So wait until the Wee Mewens are here. Stand, put your snack trap right in front of it. As soon as you catch one, go into your snack grappler, move out of the way. As soon as uh, Mama is there, shoot the stalactite, and that is basically how we do that one then so just do this i think you just need to do this three times sometimes you may um if you put it too far to the left or right you may actually miss the melon but um yeah three hits should be doing it and then all we need then is chandlow's help to finish her off then you can crack her open slightly like a big chunky omelet ish <laughs> So then, as soon as Chandler's going to start talking to us, what he's going to do now is go over to the right slightly. Man, that melon looks hardcore, bro. Anyway, follow Chandler, get your snack grappler out. Now stop throwing your babies at me, Tinder profile woman. And then as soon as Mama Melon goes over there, or Melon, make sure to smash the slack tight down like now, and bam. Then she shrinks down to the size of my, well, never mind. She shrinks down very small, like the exact same size as my thumb, my baby fingers, and then that is the second one done. Anyway, so once that one is done, we can now move on. Again, this isn't in any particular story order. Um, purely because you could do the side quests in any order you particularly choose. For me, this is the way I done it. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, you could just do it in any order. So anyway, we are now with Crom Do. Now, this one was a bit more of a slight pain in the ass. Uh, ass? <laughs> slight more of a pain in the ass. So we need to um, grab the Mothza Supreme, which is basically a flying pizza. Again, uh, this is basically just like... I mean, this is the mo more recent Pokemon games, isn't it? I'm really not sure what else to do, so... We'll just make every day items into a Pokemon now. Um, so, you'll start off here with Cromdo. She's going to have a little bit of a conversation and... I mean, dude, I mean, the dude sucks, but, you know... He's got a decent looking tie, so you know, he can't be all too bad. So, when we... When he starts moving up, and then we can go up, and then what we're going to do is actually find the Bombino, which is going to come in handy to catch this supreme thing. And there's a worm, worm full of... I don't even know what the hell that is supposed to be. Spoo? Pizza toppings? Hmm, I'm not sure. Anyway, as soon as this little cutscene begins, we can now begin the fight of life. I mean, Krondo does talk a lot, and you can't actually skip this bit, which is bloody annoying, but... We'll get there eventually. Right, okay. <laughs> I've only just realised that's a pizza cutter. That's hilarious. Right, so anyway, when the pizza cutter comes up, he's going to smash that one up as soon as we use the snack grappler on it. Pick up the bomb. Put it up to the top here. And just place it lovingly on there. That's going to smash that one up. And then what that's going to do is get this bomb out. The Bombino. Very Friday night dinner, that one. Hello, Bambinos. Anyway, when we, when we have the Bombino, then it is time for the Mossa to Supreme to start. We're going to put the lunch pad down here. This is what gets the flying pizza out. I, I mean, if it's got pineapple on it, it could just fly away. Pineapple can sug me, in all fairness. Uh, a lot of pepperoni, quite a lot of cheese, mushrooms. Yeah, you can pick the mushrooms off, can't you? Anyway, so when we begin then, th there are three things that we've got to do. Try and avoid, of course, the um, Bombinos. What we need to do is actually get them nice and wet in order to use them, because if we... So basically, the, the whole point of this is to get these Bombinos wet so they go inside, kind of like a snail, put it on the lunch pad at the top, and then fling it towards the Mothza Supreme. That's basically what we have to do here. Um, luckily, we don't have to grab every single um, one of 
these. We don't have to grab every single one of these, put them to the water, and then go back up. A lot of the time, they'll just get stunned on their own, which is always nice for us. Um, so avoid the hurricanes right there, and then just go all the way up to the top. Pop this one down onto the launch pad, or the launch pad. Is it the launch pad? Launch pad. And then, of course, left trigger to aim. Now, what I would do is probably wait until the Mothsa goes over to the next bit. Because 9 times out of 10, you'll probably fling it and then you'll start moving away. So, as soon as he goes over to the next area, aim it at him, hit him, kablam! Now, what we need to do, grab the snack wrapper, go down and then hit the pizza cutter behind him. There we go. And that is what counts as a hit. So, the second... Phase is pretty much the same thing. Uh, it's the third phase, which can be a little bit of a pain in the butt snatch. But the second phase is basically just the same. So grab another Bombino. Obviously, make sure he's not on fire. Grab, put it on the launch pad, and then we're going to aim, and then we're going to launch it at him. Skablam. Now, this is where he starts getting a bit annoyed. Now, we can't do the same tactic as we've just done. As we get the Snack Grappler, make sure to hit that. So he's only got one hit left to go. So what he's going to do now is go... Um, instead of going all four sides, he's just going to go to two sides. So what we, and he's going to get these hurricanes up a lot quicker. So what we need to do is place these bombinos now in a particular in a particular way, so he'll suck it up and hit himself, basically. But what you need to do is go over to the opposite side that the moss uh, pizza's at, because of course you can't actually put it down when he's uh, sticking a hurricane up. Doesn't obviously work like that. So what you need to do is just Grab as many of these bombs as you can and just sort of stick them um, around this area, the opposite side. Now, as you can see, I'm doing it here, but I'm doing it wrong because the Motto Supreme actually doesn't come to this side. He's only going there, where you've just seen him, and the opposite side. So keep that one in mind. And I only figured that out now because I'm a bit of a dong. Oh, all right, there it goes. So as you can see, he only goes the opposite side of the other one. He doesn't stop in all four locations. So... With me actually figuring that one out, eventually, finally. Wait until the hurricanes are sort of chilling out, chilling out. Ah, get away, fiery snail. Now, I did try and I did try my luck with that one there. It didn't work. But again, as you can see, so you need to put it in such a position that it sucks it up and he just hits himself rather than as I burst myself on fire, rather than obviously missing him. So that's all you got to do. Grab one of the Bombino bags, put it on the opposite side that the Motto Supreme is at, and that will hopefully hit it, and that will be the end of it. But again, this one can be more luck dependent on skill, which can be a bit of a pain in the ass. It can take you mere seconds, and it can take you a couple more minutes, but, you know, still easy enough. <laughs> Blam! That's how we do it, boy! Whip out your snack grappler, slam him down, and then he shrinks to the size of a very... of basically every male ever when they are in the extreme freezing cold. So, um, you know, yeah, well, you know. So, the final one, after we grab the Motta Supreme, we are going to get Wiggle. Now, Wiggle just wants to sing, but a singing does my tits in. And I'm sorry for those that actually do like Wiggle, and do like her singing, but god damn, she pisses me off. I mean, she doesn't, she's just trying to be a, you know, famous singer. But she, well, I mean, she's got less faces than Amber Heard. I mean, that chick's got about a thousand faces, and she overacts to absolute death. Anyway, this isn't about Amber Heard. This is about catching our final legendary bug snacks. Now, again, this one's an easy one, but of course there's always a tactic. Now, this this is an unskippable song that we're going to go through here, so... Uh, you know, you'll have to just sit patient with it and either enjoy it or just mute it for a couple of seconds. Uh, just, just wonderful. Yeah, you win the X Factor. Right, good job. Yeah. Right. 
Mega Maki and Mini Maki. Right, you see all these poles about? What we have to do is basically just trip shot the poles. This big sushi roll is going to snap off. And then we need to grab a lot of the Mini Makis, which is basically the body, um, behind. But what he's going to do um, as we get the first trip shot, I think I just missed this first one. But as you can see, he starts smashing these, like coconuts or something at you. Now, every time he does that, try and avoid um, going near the poles with it. Because if he destroys the pole, that means you obviously... It, it, the, the pole cannot come back. So once if he destroys the pole with his big coconuts, that pole's never coming back. So just be careful with that. Every time he goes to attack you, just make sure it's not in the view of any of these poles. Again, it's just to make it a lot easier for you. Uh, so as we're just waiting, waiting, waiting. Now another tactic I would use as soon as you get the trip shot going. As you can see, it's always worth just taking a picture so you can see what direction, where they're going, etc. So what uh, is best to do is get your snack grappler out. Instead of trying to ch run around, because these mini maki, basically this dude's body is going gonna to start running about, as we'll be able to see. So it's easier just to use the snack grappler. So smash one, grab another, grab another... And he will, after you catch three, he will just go back to the second phase. You can't actually grab any more than that. But that's fine. It just makes it a lot easier um, rather than running around like an absolute boing. Whatever an absolute boing is. So again, as you can see now, he's starting to float in the high in the sky like Arnie Pie in the sky. So, once again, we just need to... I'm, I'm literally taking pictures of everything except Mega Maki, but... There we go. So again, he's started to attack us. Just make sure you're not near any of the poles. Got close with that one. So as you can, so for now though, just have a look at exactly where um, you think is going to be easier. I mean, to be honest, there's a lot of trees and a lot of. Uh, well, there was a lot of poles. I was going to use that one. So thanks, you dumbass sushi roll. Not that mega, is it? Stop throwing balls at me. I'm not a ball fan anymore. Right, so remember to use the trees, you can use the trees, make sure then, uh, while Mega Maki is on his way round it, the uh, the trip shot, that's what I'm trying to think of there, the trip shot is actually in line with the with the purple arrows, that means you are, should be good to go, and he will die a Mega Death, Mega Maki Death. Oops, I think another pole just died, but that's fine. So, he's going to get mussed up again, so again, get his snack grapple out, make sure to grab the next three. Come here, you son of a... Come here, step running away, Sushi. I want to eat you. Eh, come back. Okay, right. So, the final for the final phase then, he's basically going around the same thing, except he's basically going a little bit higher. And that's pretty much it. So you just got to do the same thing once again. Try and avoid his um, attacks and go with the poles and the trees and just do all that. Of course, remember you can put them... Um, on rocks and stuff like that as well. Uh, but it would be easier to do it on, obviously, the lowest point. Where the purple arrows are, easier to do it on the lowest point. Or make sure that we've got a nice tree like I've got right here. Eventually. Okay, there we go. And if you put it at the top of the pole, that should be enough. <laughs> right, snap grappler out. Grab these last three. And then that boy is going to shrink like an absolute... Tiny little dong man. Hey, come back. Not you. Go away. Ah! Go away! I need to catch Mini. Ah, there we go. And hilariously then, you can catch him. And that is what will... That is how you defeat and capture all four of the legendary buzz, bug snacks. Plus, you will get the bossy bugs achievement. And there we go then, guys and gals. So, thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed um, this guide. Hope it has helped as well. If it has, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to everyone who, on Patreon who continues to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching again, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next Bug Snacks guide. B -b -b Big love. Big love, wiggle boy.